Hello everyone, it is Toby here, back for another Minecraft tutorial, and today we are going to be building this lovely small blacksmith shop here, with a small blacksmith yard out the back, it's nice and small, and nice and easy to build for you guys. So, over here we have the layout, if you want to get yourself this layout, I believe it's a 14 block by something block, cobblestone platform, uh, let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 blocks by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 14 by 7 cobblestone rectangle in the floor. That's going to be your floor plan for the build. And as for the wooden supports, that's always a good place to start. You want uh, from 4 blocks from the edge over on the right hand side, you want a wood pillar with a gap of 3. Then another wood block. Then a gap of 5 to the other edge. To, uh, with another wood block here, gap of three, wood block, gap of three, wood block, gap of three going back forward, wood block, gap of three along, wood block, gap of one, then that should take it back to your original wood block. So it's, as you can see it's got a very small floor plan but it's nice and simple to build. The only resource that may be a challenge here are these observer blocks, they just add a tiny bit of detail here under the ferni. But, well the furnaces, whatever you want to call it, I just said furni for some odd reason. But with all these wood pillars you want to bring them up three blocks. So two three blocks high you don't want to place, you want to place two more blocks on top of them to make them all three high. And that is going to be the basis for your build, so there you go. And then across the top of, I believe, is it this front one? I have to check because it is maybe a bit complicated to follow if I can't follow it myself yeah you want three across the top of there three across there and I'm assuming okay yeah that's what we want so three across there and three across the end here as a horizontal beam just like that it's not challenging whatsoever over here we want to build a little triangle of wood logs make sure they're all facing upwards so they don't look odd and you want to create a little entrance top bit like that not an entrance top bit a roof arch and on these ones with the three across you may want to place a block there just for ease but it doesn't matter what block goes there you're not going to be able to see it right the next bit we should probably do is the roof so we, we want to grab some dark oak wood stairs start here and essentially follow the top of all of these wood pillars along which shouldn't be too difficult if I do this correctly. Very, very nice and easy to follow. The roof isn't too detailed, but it's got enough for the build that we're doing. A nice small build with a nice small detailed roof will do just fine for this build. We don't need to go any elaborate plans for the roof at all. Just keep it nice and simple, which gives it a nice effect. Right, there we go. And we want to do the same here, except just bring it out except that middle bit there just bring it out either side of each wood block there we go make it curve around there curve around here also and we probably want to bring this out one more thinking about it and curve this around so you've basically got the premise of your roof there that is your general general piece you want to now grab some stuff uh, slabs some dark oak wood slabs and go across the top filling in the gap that we have left by the stairs at the top which shouldn't be difficult to see what I'm doing here should bring it out and on each of the overlaps here on each of the overhangs we want to place a slab there a slab there slab there and there and then that should did we do this front one Yes, we did and in this little bit we want to place just a block and a slab and that should be it for the roof if you want to add the, just the tiniest bit more of detail on each of the overhangs you want to remove one slab and I highly recommend you do this you want to grab a stair and place a stair facing outward so the back of the stair is facing outward to the roof and that just adds a little bit of a nice detail to the house on each of its points so there you go that is the roof done on the blacksmith shop so the next bit we want to do is these wall sections in here to get this bit started we're just going to do this front bit we want four andesite blocks 
fairly simple as you can see there nice and easy the next bit we want to do is place in an, uh, uh, two stone brick stairs one upside down one correct way up and two cobblestone walls to fill in those gaps there you have the outline for a window frame and then you just want to place your window in which I'm going to be using a dark oak fence gate because it's I don't know it just it just fits better than glass pane in there and it connects to the cobblestone walls and it looks great so we want to copy that over to this side over here as well so just do the exact same thing again with your cobblestone and stuff and then nope that's the wrong thing and you want to put that in there perfect so that's that wall done and again in here you want to do that for one final time just do the exact same thing we have done previous and create one more little window there so there we go we've got windows on the blacksmith for the door section we just want to place a stone brick stair and we want a spruce wood door they fit the best in this theme i do believe you could use any other door you want though that is that and you may be wondering what are we going to do with this bit because this bit is not looking great as of right now we're going to create a little overhang bit here with some slabs and stairs so we just want to grab a couple slabs and do a two by two rectangle of slabs up on the top half of that block and then we want to come to here get under here and put some upside down stairs facing outwards like that and some regular stairs facing backwards like that and then you've got a little little roof there and we will get back onto that in a bit because we'll do that when we get to the details but that's that part of the roof done right now we'll move on to the back of the build we want to get re-get our andesite blocks this is another window section slightly different though and we want to do andesite all across the bottom and one in the top there like so and stone brick stairs one regular one upside down just to cover up that wood and create again another window frame for us there and then we want to get our dark oak fences not fence gates this time and put them in there to create two two high windows which work well in there perfect right the next part we want to do of course is this back section here the only wall we have left free so with this one we want to grab our polish andesite and bring this all the way up that same on this side like so and then with our observers we want to just go across here and across here as well it doesn't matter which way they are facing as long as we see that lovely side texture across like that i don't does it work it will work if we do it that way as well so it can work on any orientation there is slightly weird we want to get our furnaces put them across the middle like that so you get that lovely lovely looking thing and across the front here we want stone brick stairs and uh, we want stone brick slabs across the front here and i do believe that's it apart from no we need i thought we did we need some stone brick stairs there so we get that and that is your premise to your blacksmith area where all the furnishing happens basically so now we have got the basic gist of the build done and now it is time that we add detail to what we have done already so with the premise of that we're going to be adding some supports uh, in various different ways to make the build look a little more supported and i apologize you just heard discord go off there i will make sure i turn that off for the next tutorial but we are in the flow of it so i won't here okay discord is really starting to get annoying now i'm just going to take a cut and turn that off i apologize okay so apologies there discord has been put on do not disturb i should have done that before recording i apologize but anyway, now we're going to add some support. So with this overhang roof, you can see it may not look the most supported. So we want to put a cobblestone wall there with a spruce fence to give that wooden contrast there as a support. And we want to do a similar thing going all the way around on the other parts of the roof. So whenever there's one of these oak pillars, you'll see me do in a minute. We want to place two cobblestone walls with a spruce fence in the middle. We want to do the same here. There we go. Over here, we want to do something slightly different. We want to do, again, a lovely little support there. But to add a little bit of extra detail, we want to put a lever on each of these, holding up the stone bricks. Well, that's what it looks like. You can hook these up to whatever system you want to. They're not actually serving a function, just a bit of detail. Uh, speaking of 
detail we can put the fence around the blacksmith yard here so we want to take our cobblestone walls and space them out so it's a one block gap in between the ones on the front and back and a two block gap in between the ones on the side and in each of these gaps except one we want to put our dark oak fence gates and that creates a lovely little fence effect around the blacksmith with an entrance here we'll come back to this whilst we when we put a anvil in but again we want to put the cobblestone walls on each of these pillars we're going to sort this out in just a second with spruce fence gates it's not fence gates spruce fences in there and we could put that there i think we're going to do that that's a good idea just to do that and finally on the side here we're going to put these final uh cobblestone walls and spruce fence supports right just to test my memory which is going okay i thought that's how it went we want to grab our dark oak wood slabs and just go one two three in each of the roof arches just to give them a little more of a curve so we're going to do the same here and here and again on the front here so that's just finishing up that so there you go that is pr pretty much the build done except we need to do an interior and that well with this i think i'm going to grab an anvil and our trusty stone brick stairs again and out the back here, we're going to put an anvil just here. With That's not stone brick stairs. There we go. And stone brick stairs either side to create a bigger sort of anvil shape for the blacksmith to use. And something I'd recommend you do is always have something smelting in these. I mean, if you're playing in a survival world, just use these as your regular furnaces. But the build looks a lot, lot better. With that's Nope, that's still cooked. What? We, there we go, pork chops. That's still cooked. So they look a lot better, in my opinion, when... We have the furnaces actually cooking so without further ado if we do that you can see they look a hell of a lot better when they're red and flaming so your build is going to come to life whenever you smelt something in there and it looks like something is actually working but that is not necessary right if we take a trip on the inside as you can see it's fairly barren and the roof isn't looking particularly fancy we want to grab our dark oak stairs and smooth out the edge of the roof here we want to sort this whole section out as well so there we go we want to grab ourselves a dark oak wood block dark oak wood plank block i mean and in each of these gaps up there and there we want to put them and more stairs there and we want to line at the top of the roof i didn't mean to break the roof that's not what i was supposed to do there we go we want to line the top of the roof with our dark oak wood blocks so that goes along there like that and we've sort of encased the roof a bit nicer and when it becomes night time we don't actually have any lighting in here as of yet so my recommendation is just to get two torches and put one there and one there that gives it a nice light but it also gives a little tiny smidgen of mood lighting but that isn't important so the next bit we want to do here is actually grab these polished anthracite blocks and bring them out again except we don't want to do it on the top one there and we want to get our stone brick stairs put them there and there not there there and there so we got them and we want to grab some stone slabs put them along the bottom like so and along the top like so and my recommendation now is just to put some iron bars you can really put whatever you want there iron bars for a creative build if you want to actually use the furnaces of course you would want to leave that open but for me just iron bars in there makes a nice little addition this end up here we're going to grab again our stone brick stairs and put one it's kind of tough to place one there nope that's placed wrong one there and one there can i place that there yeah there we go and a stone slab in the middle that just creates a small little table for planning out tools to build keeping tools and stuff that's a really good thing to do you want to grab a chest a crafting table and probably a spare anvil and put a chest uh, a crafting table chest and a spare anvil just in there i mean you can customize the interior however you want but that's just a nice way to do it and of course if the blacksmith is going to be living here full time rather than it just being a shop you'd put a bed either there or along here or something but i'm going to leave that there even though this is more like a blacksmith shop rather than a blacksmith house uh, and finally we want to add something that sort of emulates his blacksmith hammer and we do that by putting an item frame there and getting 
any type of axe I'm going to get an iron axe and it does look like an axe but when we hang it upside down it kind of could go off as like a big hammer but I don't know I'm just going to leave that there that looks kind of nice but that is essentially the build done if we look out here and fly around it that is your little blacksmith shop slash blacksmith's house all done and dusted it looks absolutely brilliant nice and simple to build and I hope you guys will use it in your medieval slash highland slash whatever sort of setting you can find a use for this I really hope you do use it in a really fantastic way and I hope my tutorial has helped you guys out if you are new to this channel I do lots of tutorials uh, quite fairly regularly and I have a whole playlist of them which you can find in my channel playlists also I do some other series as well you may want to check out and if you haven't already please do subscribe to my channel uh, for more tutorials like this one and also many other things to come in the future and without further ado thank you so much for watching i hope this tutorial did help and i will see you guys in the next video goodbye